Good evening, my friends, and today we're going through the Misty Woods. Now, the Misty Woods is... Good evening, my friends, and today we're going through the Misty Woods. Now, the Misty Woods is a... is a slightly weird environment, right? Because it shifts and changes as you go through it, but the effect of that is that you can't backtrack. Ah, oh, I've forgotten how to ground pound. <coughs> Wait. Sorry. Yeah, it's up and down. Let me explain what the Misty Forest is before we go. Right, okay. So, yes. Talking, thinking and talking is hard at the same time. Okay, the Misty Woods, it changes as you go through it, and that makes backtracking impossible. So it means that this level is unique in the game, in that you are constantly pushing forward, right? And you can't ever go backwards. So it kind of breaks the Metroidvania feel. It is, you know, spoiler warning, it is my least favourite um, level in this game. Um, just simply because ah, I don't really like the, the kind of linear nature of it. Now this guy, we should be able to push upwards. Is there anything up here? It doesn't look like there's anything up there though. I don't think we should activate that until we're happy that we've explored this direction first. Or... Hmm. Or maybe that was something I did last time and you actually end up skipping the line of dialogue entirely. Never mind. We're just going to go this way. Kindle there, and that will give us an extra life point. Yeah, got a room to hold the right trigger was going in there to slow ourselves down. Because that's the new ability that we've unlocked, yes. Get out of there, Warry, get out of there!
That was a waste of a life point. Okay. Good. Green frog, frogs hit you for so much damage. It's, it's two life per hit, those guys. Thing. One and two. Oh, close enough. Like a glove. Right, yeah. So now as we move backwards, the environment changes. So now we can't backtrack to where we just were. So if we've missed any power-ups, that's it. We're not, we're not getting them again, except by restarting the whole of the Misty Woods. Hmm, well that's all hookers. We might have needed that guy. That's okay. Go through this way. Spikes that these guys leave behind. Deceived by the mist, they were lost in the woods. There's definitely something over there, though, that we could get to, but I don't see a way that you could bash up there. Got him. Right, yeah, okay, we're gonna bust through here. That's gonna give us a new ability. Oh no, if we carry it to the shrouded lantern, it might show us the way.
trying to go up for the power up. Oh, 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 I need one of you. I need one of you. Let's go this way. So, what do we want now then? We could have uh, creating a soul link restores two cells. That's kind of helpful for our survivability. Energy pickups reward 50% more energy. Makes ability cells show up on the map. Increases the spirit light gain from absorbed spirit light. So that actually makes us level up then faster. Makes life cells show up on the map. Yeah, I mean, uh, once we've got the air dash unlocked, like, I mean, triple jump is pretty great, right? As is water breathing, but it's more just convenient. Okay. Oh man, I can't believe we've got me twice. Like, those things don't aim for you. They just go... They just go with whatever. They're, they're just going with... <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're just going with whatever... Um, random... Like, I think they've got, like, a certain... Uh, certain control over their angles, maybe, but like, I think mostly they just rely on you falling into them. Cause yeah, I don't, I don't think they actually aim for you. It's just inconveniently placed that one. Throw you off the side? No. Instead, I will just be the one that dies. The fact that they leave spikes behind is, like, pretty inconvenient. Great. Climb. Press and hold right trigger when you're against a wall to travel along its surface. Ha 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 
What a troll. So every time you hit the jump button, it's going to um, come out. Uh, the double jump does not count. So you've got to leap of faith it. Yeah. I believe there is no map in this area either. Now, conveniently enough, and it is incredibly convenient, actually, um, the game doesn't mind you um, just holding the right trigger when you do these. Oh, right, we're on a we're on a time there. We're on a time limit. So yeah, you can just hold right trigger and it will automatically unfurl the feather for you as well. Super convenient. Shoot. Did it open up that direction? No, it doesn't look like it's opened up that direction, does it? Is it down here now that we're supposed to go? Oh, it is down here that we're supposed to go. That's what he did. Okay, get you down there. Because otherwise we're not going to be able to soul link anyway. So how are we supposed to get through there? Because pressing the jump button twice doesn't actually help. Or are we supposed to... We're supposed to go through the whole thing, right? Like that. Got it. Oh, don't die. Excellent. Not sure what happened there. That was weird. I was holding right trigger and it kind of um, teleported me up slightly.
Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in there up there to worry about, or at least nothing that I can get at this stage of the game. I'm gonna bust you against some spikes. I can't believe I died to the same guy twice. Well, no, I can believe it. I died to the same guy twice all the time in this game, to be fair. I got no energy to be able to adjust where my save point is, so that's fine. And that's not even a secret up there. Right. So I do need to get to that lantern. Oh my god. Come on. Let's just go straight. <laughs> we'll take our time with it. Take our time with it. Okay. Oh, what? I didn't even see you come in there. So, is there anywhere down there that I'm interested in going? I don't think there is, you know. Do not put that... Do not put that down on me. <laughs> okay. How am I supposed to get through to there, then? Oh, I've got to go up. I've got to go up. Ha ha ha, nice. Yeah, we'll take that. That's excellent. safe here or not. We're using my last energy. I don't think so. Okay, should it should open something up on some side somewhere? Okay, which side is it open up? stuff up over here. It is opening stuff up over here, okay. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, oh, I'm getting it from all sides now. intended strat, clearly. The fact that you can just hold the trigger 
you don't have to try and time the trigger to grab. So useful. So useful. Okay. That was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Could have done it a little bit more carefully, I suppose. What I need is I need to find more um, life gems. So actually, maybe there is a maybe there is a bit more backtracking required because I got I got five energy gems. I've still only got four life gems though, which considering you start with three is pretty poor. So maybe we will add that onto our wish list for once we're done with the misty woods hey how about we do a little bit of an explore find some life things <clears throat> now having said that nice still don't have the energy necessary to actually resave of course But yeah, I think starting to work our way through the blue track as we level up is uh, certainly going to be beneficial in terms of finding those. Yeah, okay, I'm going to just immediately save. Working our way up the blue track is going to be very useful in terms of finding those things. So ability cells showing up on the map. Brilliant spirit vision at life markers. So we are only six points away from having that uh, improved. And to be fair, now that we've got Bash, we can get to like a fair amount of our stuff is findable now. Ooh! That's weird, like. That very much looks like a thing that, uh... Hmm. Where is this going? Well, we've now got a boss fight, so... Maybe that's actually the way to go, if that makes sense. So in which case, what do we got down here? Now I'm doubly confused as to which direction I should be going here. Let's go up to the, um... I'm not sure. Which way should I be going? Up to the boss fight or down to the... That's clearly the harder path to get up, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, do you know what? I have a feeling that that might actually just be sequence break. Like, maybe that's speedrunning strats, because getting up that side is clearly the harder path to get up. Do it full health. Get rid of you entirely. Right, save there. That's a much, much more sensible way of doing that. sort of go this side of it, right? Right, yeah. So it's, it's just a sequence break that we found. Which is awesome. Like, love it. And then we've got a boss fight in here. Oh, yep, literally ran into that. Finally here. That's weird though, because like... I could have sworn once you pick up the orb, the route's going to change again on you anyway. But that's okay. Yeah, because you can't, can't climb up there with the orb. Uh, 
Oh, we've got to do the boss fight again. That was not expected entirely. save that as a move subsequent to the boss fight but I want to see what happens if we go that way without picking up the orb because as I said before there's not an easy way to come back here no do you know what it is right I have a feeling that this is exactly where we were before. It's just that now there's no giant log here. There used to be a giant log over the top of this room, and now there isn't. I think that's the only difference. Oh, <sighs> oof. go. Okay, kind of got there. Only took one hit. Got the orb all the way to the thing. And that, my friends, is going to be a misty wood. What do you think of a misty wood? Okay, so I said at the start of the episode, this is my least favourite area of the game. Um, like, there are some nice bits where you're using the feather to glide down, you know, in amongst all the spikes and stuff but we lit the shrouded lantern and lifted the haze the key to the forlorn ruins the goomon seal has been revealed using this key you can gain entrance to the forlorn ruins the element of winds is deep south of this place I can show you the way the element of wind and we are out of the misty woods and that is going to end today's episode thank you very much for watching leave a comment below what do you think of the misty woods favorite area least favorite area somewhere in the middle i'm interested to hear what your thoughts are thank you very much for watching i will chat to you soon bye for now